Hello and welcome you leeches to another Playland Say. Today we're going to be looking at Emrakold. A game apparently about people who push TNT through layer boxes. Sort of a steampunky suicide bomber thing, I think. Alright, uh, where are we going to start? Let's just check the options. Uh, yeah. We have 10A, full screen. Just... Alright. Let's get going into Inside the Cold. A randomly generated game about defusing bombs, apparently. Uh, normal, yeah, that'll do. Ooh, fireworks! So pretty! It's so pretty! Alright, who are we? There we are. And we've got mouse to look around. Oh my god, that's loud. Alright, there we are. Sounds sorted. Uh, explosion. How do I move? Click. No, that just throws... Oh. What? Okay, tank control. So W to move forwards. And that seems to be about it. don't actually even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Am I supposed to be blowing up the door? Is that it? Nope, doesn't seem to be that. Uh, what about this door? Can we go through this door? Dark, dark door. Getting stuck in artifacts. Always nice. Fire punch. Uh. Oh, these controls are grinding me, man. Ooh. M mouse MR. That's right, alright. Manual bomb serial, QE to switch pages. Let's have a look at what's going on here. Cable sequence, purple, white. If the sum of the first large digit, the serial number is even, and there's... Okay, so this is a single-player version of... Thingy. Is it? Bomb defused! Yay! I'm a god! I don't really know god of what, but god! Okay, so there isn't just disarming bombs. I've also got to kill these weird looking guys. Alright, right mouse punch, 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 punch. Mortal Kombat. I think. Even though that really didn't feel uh, very satisfying. What's down the trap door? Dungeon 1 completed. Yay! Click anywhere to continue. Alright, that's number two. Seem to be doing well so far. I mean, doesn't seem to be doing. make me feel well, though. Oh. Such a habit to try and use Waz to move around. Alright, Resident Evil Mind. Original Resident Evil Mind. Ah, uh, no, we don't wanna, don't wanna leave just yet, do we? Punch, punch, punch. And two guys who want to make love. Alright, well the bombs seem to be bloody useless as they just move out the way. So, not great there, really. I could control when I was blowing them up, or if they hit actually on contact, that might be quite nice. I get the game actually keep it interesting. You know anything about this bomb? Try and look around the search for the instruction manual. All right, so a paper somewhere on some floor that we've missed. Oh my word! Why make this game so play slow paced? Why? Just why? Is the green one, the door one that's gonna have it in, is that the idea? Maybe if I blow the furniture up. 
No, don't seem to be able to do that. Can I look in the furniture? Oh, yep, Q to search. Found two fuses. Uh, oh, that's not instructions to doing a bomb, though, is it? Uh, Alright, so don't see any instructions in this room. Let's try this room. Can I search any of this? Nope. Nope. Ah, no. It's always nice when the game it feels like the objects are non interactive to you. Oh, okay. I'm going to give these guys benefit. Alright, there's no control. But so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt that they have actually put a run button in, but. Doesn't appear. Oh, there it is. Shift. That then does make him quite impossible to control. Is there anything in here? No, nothing found. Okay. In here. Nothing found. Hmm. What about with our little uh, robot friends? Anything in here? Search, you search, you search. And the last thing we searched in, of course, it is. Bomb manual. What have we got to do? Choose the correct configuration. So it's. It's done with them, unless you're looking at it upside down. Oops. Can I spin it around? No. If we look at it the other way up. Then no, it's none of those. So what have I got to do? Change it to that? Maybe? So, green, blue, red, yellow. Oh, it's got to be something you can change in two turns. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, which one? I suppose it's a bit like that one, isn't it? If we look it upside down. So, we have to change that one to green. This arm. Yay! I am Spartacus. Alright, down the trap door again. Down we go. Yay! Dungeon 2 complete. Another one. Another quite small area by the looks of it. Looks like me. I'll pay off. Now I've got to run. I can run straight into my own things. Probably one way of doing it. Can, can I do anything? Is there any skill to the punching? No. Here's a spam, 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 spam. More spam than a Second World War kitchen. Alright, that's where we got to leave. Anything else around? Oh. More, more ugly guys. Oh, and I'm dead. Yay! I am dead, and I reached level three. Da da da. Don't know why I'm happy about that. Oh, it. Just, the game just feels so so janky. So I get stuck on things. I don't really feel in control. I mean, why not do that? a wads move? Why? Why actually go for the tank controls? I find it a weird choice. Because the problem with that tank controls is that you sort of... You want to be throwing bombs and sidestepping, really. Especially with how slow they are to go off. Uh, it's a shame, because it's quite a fun little idea for a game. Sort of binding of Isaac meets puzzles. It's not really bomb diffusal, because everyone just seems to have an instruction manual of it that tells you what, precisely what to do. Just in a bit of an encrypted way. Alright, that's one down. Alright, little room on its side. Oh, rogue light, but there's always something in the little room on its side. Try to beat up the mice. Oh, get off. Leave me alone. Instinctively trying to use Waz to move. 
now I've got like uh, the run button. It just it makes the game really quite hard. Right, there we go. Because there is no reverse either, is there? No. Nope, nothing. I'm missing. That's that simple. Cable sequence, white, yellow. There are two cables and the sum of the serial digits is more than 43. Cut the white cable. If there is a 1-5 in the serial number. Okay, so the serial number is... So the sum of that would be 4, 13, 20, 25, 27, 36, 38. So no. Oop. Sum is less than that. If there are two sixes in the serial number, which there are not. If there is one five in the serial number, that and there are three cables, which there are not. If there are two cables and the sum of the serial digits less than 37, cut the yellow cable. No, it was 38, wasn't it? Oh, my memory. It might die. We would have written it down. See, kids, this is why you get marks for showing your workings. Because when you come to do the last bit of a bloody question, you may have forgotten what your last bit was. But oh well, a lesson that we can all learn from there. Uh, let's go up. Okay, oh, I don't know anything about the bomb. It's me forgetting the principle of the game. Oh. Don't lose my temper. Breathe. Breathe. Speed and health up. Yay. So now I can run even faster. What? I'm holding forward. Oh. Stupid. Fucking game. If one of you didn't just die. For some reason he doesn't want to die to a bomb though, but oh well. That's a win. That seems to be a bigger area this time, but that a bigger area in the first areas. What I want. Okay, so keep our distance a little bit. Seems to be able to just throw bombs at them. Finish him. Well, hopefully finish him. Yeah, and out we go. What's this going to be? Oh, 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 instruction manual. Back to my bomby bomb. Let's see how much I can screw this one up. By 50 foot TNT. Uh, match the named LEDs in the following order. What? Nice, so I guess. That must be B, C, F, D, A, and E. Diffuse some. Um. Some. What? Match the name LEDs in the following order. Some. What? Oh, you can't really take the bomb. Silly mate. Oh, all right. Let's match the name LEDs. Match them to what? Oh, controls are all over the place. Just bind the look to like click and drag it around rather than me having to try and remember that it's WAS to do that and Z and X to do that. <laughs> if I switch these on, do these lights change? Is that how that works? No. We got an F. Is that anything to do with it? No. Oh, that's enough of a squirty play. You know what, game? F 
fuck you and your stupid, stupid, stupid self. Anyway, this is Inside the Code, Early Access, and I'm signing off to say the janky piece of shit is not worth getting at all. But anyway, enjoy the world. World. Inside the Code, what was my thoughts? I got quite excited originally because a puzzle game in the internet age, such things... A bit hard because with people Googling, you can't just have set puzzles because people will just go through it, really. So I think developers have been developing games now to sort of uh, pull away from this. So I, I And I liked the little bomb defusal game that I can't remember the name of where you, uh, you defuse it and your friend uh, reads the instructions. So I went into this with some nice high hopes. But let's just let's start with the movement. So the tank controls for moving the character around. Um, not a big deal it's, if it was just a bomb defusal game and you were just moving from bomb to bomb to bomb and finding things. But there's combat in the game. And the combat seems to evolve around two main functions. So you have your punching and your bomb throwing. The issue though with this is that the bomb throwing is the bombs take so long to go off that it just doesn't feel like a precise science and the the robots can just move out of the way of it and when you're punching from unless I'm missing something massive here it's just you're punching them as quickly as they're punching you so there's no way of really doing that combat without taking a bit of damage and the problem on a is the word I don't want to use the word roguelike uh, it gets used too much nowadays but it's sort of a randomly generated game where you go back to the start each time you want a system that if you're making mistakes you're taking the damage but you want a way of doing it where you don't take the damage so the combat in this just seems so unimmersive so let's just put that to one side because the combat in this game unless completely overhauled isn't going to be anything in this game so the other part of the game, the bomb defusal, is really let down by unclear instructions and people can call me dumb, they can call me thick-minded if they like, I, I don't mind. Um, but I wasn't getting on the same wavelength as what the game developer was getting when he ripped the instructions. And this could have really been easily overturned by a simple um, menu choice, just giving you sort of an EG of one of these being dumb. So where it gives you sort of the instructions for the bomb, and there's sort of three types of bombs. Uh, you can see a little question mark in the bottom corner. If you click that, then maybe show you one of these bombs actually being done to get you on the same mindset as the developer. Which is always going to be a problem in the international world with translations and things like that. The non-clear instructions are a big issue. The other thing is the objects in the world are sticky. You stick to them like god knows what and they just move around and you just end up blocking doors which just makes the game frustrating really they're not really getting in the way of killing things or anything else so there's no extra drama added by this it's just a lot of extra time wasting so my th I, theory for the game is it's just not worth it the bomb uh, diffusing is weak the combat is weak the controls uh, you, you have to get wazzed out of your mind when controlling this character and unless this person hasn't played a game since the original PlayStation then I don't think there's actually any excuse for this either it's just laziness and laziness on top of laziness so the game has bad combat, bad bombing bad movement, bad design for the objects graphics are passable for this sort of thing but it would be nice to actually see some character in it so not recommending this game. Green light and the use of it is what I want to rant about here. I mean, why do people just not get this? If this game presented me a very good one area of the game, say a very good bomb disposal puzzle, and it just showed me that in the early access, then I could probably recommend this game. I could pimp this game up, and while they were getting that extra money, they could be working on the other areas of the game. Instead, what I'm seeing from so many games is just the whole every area of the game is weak they don't seem to have completed one area and released that and said you know well, look this is what the game evolves around uh, but then again killing floor 2 the only big sort of uh, game that i have invested in in early access in the green light was that 
I just lost interest on it. By the time they started releasing patches and putting the actual game together, I'd played the game a lot at a weaker state. So in my mind now, Killing Floor 2 is probably always going to be that weaker game than what the developers wanted. I can understand if they needed to do it for the money to get the game out, but you have to be aware of the weakness of doing things this way. And if you are an indie developer and you say you are presenting this game inside the code to me, present a really strong area of the game, get me involved, get me invested, let me know what's going on, and then just keep it updated. Um, release the, the patch of the game the combat afterwards, and I'll come back to the game maybe to see what the combat was like, and if that added more to the game, then you would have got more hours of play out of me, you've got more recommendations out of me. But you, you haven't, you've just rushed the game together and pull it out, and I'm sorry, but if you for friends have game tested this, you need other friends. Because if no one even points out to you how annoying it was with cupboards and barrels sticking to you as though you're made of glue, then, you know, they're not your friends, really. So use green light better and stop abusing it, okay?